Good evening and welcome to Ottawa Glendorf High School, where tonight WSM brings you a non-conference matchup between two volleyball powers across Northwest Ohio for the last several years. The Sandra Redskins, they of a three and one record, are here to play the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans. They are two and three on the season. My name is Mark Shine. My pleasure to do play by play. Alongside Mr. Darn Evergall, Dar Dar these two teams played in the very opening weekend of the season. A close uh, win for Sandry, two sets to none, but 25-20, so interesting match coming up this evening. Yeah, I think it will be. And, you know, Otto Glendorf off to a two and three start, but, you know, I think they really have a, a good nucleus on, their, of this, on the squad. And, you know, I think it's going to be a really good matchup between the two of them. Our officials this evening. Our R1 up on the platform is David Watt. Our R2 is Christy Kopanis on the floor. And our opening serve will be by Ottawa Glandorf's Addison Bellman with six aces on the season. Okay, Addison with a service percentage all for almost 88%. Pumped up in the air. Here's the first kill attempt. That will be by Morgan Bomber. And Morgan Bomber will get a point for St. Henry to get this one started. I think as uh, St. Henry can get it out to those hitters on the outside there, and they can really set them up out there. They've got some open spaces they can hit to. And now we'll bring in to serve Addie Holman. His jump serve goes to the libero, Preyas. Uh -huh. And that block goes to number five, Ellie Fallenkamp, the 6-1 senior. And it's quickly 2 to nothing, St. Henry. That's Ellie's sixth block in the season so far. Holman to serve again. The libero set, cross court pass. It's tipped over, tipped over by Brett Liebrick, and there's a hit. That kind of went off the side of her hit, but a point will hand, but we go to Morgan Bomber. I think it was a good thing it went off the side of her hand because it found a spot that nobody was at, and it did. 3-0, St. Henry early on. Addie Holman to serve again. Ball is tipped in the middle. Tip was by Kimmett. Hit to the back row. Kim it again on a quick set. She gets her team on the board. Yeah, Kayla Kim, or, uh, yeah, Caitlin Kim has got 36, 37 kills so far this season. Here's Addison Bellman, the junior, to serve. And she lines it into the net. Has to have six aces on the season. She is tied with Maya McLaughlin for team leadership in aces. And out of our viewing range is our server way back there. <laughs> and this will be a bomber to serve. I'd say she was sitting in the bleachers, but they're all up. She was. <laughs> kill attempt by McKee. That will be an OG point. Makes it 4-2. A couple of subs coming in. Number 32 is Ella White. She will come in to play in the front row and head to the back row. Will be number 21, Greta Liebrecht. I think it's a formal uh, front row there for Otto Glandor with uh, Sienna Fry and uh, Ella White up front there. This is set and tipped over for a point. That will go to Ellie Fullenkamp. And now the libero for St. Henry, Brad Busher. I right, was a first-team all-conference player a year ago, back for her senior year. Left-handed serve, and she's going to get an ace. That's her third ace of the season so far. Left-handed Busher again. Lines into the back row. Here's the set. Back hit and pounded down by the left-handed Sienna Fry, a first-team all-conference player a year ago for the Ottawa Glendorf Lady Titans. Yeah, 63 kills, 28 digs, 11 blocks for that young lady. Sienna wears number 20. And she will serve. Quick set. Pushed and missed the sideline, did Carly Busher. And OG will continue to serve for the 6 4 St. Henry lead. Yeah, OG really needed that because it seemed like every time they were getting a point, St. Henry's getting two. Fly serves again. Bumped up in the air by Bomber. 
And then the set, and it's in. The kill by Carly Busher. Wait for the line judge to make a call. Comes Marty Kramer back into the game, freshman. She's on a string with Addie Holman. She will play the front row. Served by Tiemann. And missing the black line is Ella White. Was it touched? It was not. So St. Henry doubled up the score with an 8-4 lead. Seems to be the pattern so far, Mark, in this one. This Here's a set, quick set, tipped over. Played back across, however, by Kramer. And an open area, we're going to get a point. St. Henry, good vision to find the open area on oh, the court. absolutely. And good volley for them as well to, you know, just keep the ball alive a couple times. Teeman serves again. Good save. This is White, and Ella pounds it to Busher. And it's blocked out of bounds. Contact by Madison McKee, but she pushed it out of bounds. And it is 10-4 in favor of St. Henry, and we're going to get an OG timeout. St. Henry head 10 to 4. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Good start for St. Henry Dark. Oh, it certainly is. And, you know, like I said, it, it saw a little pattern going there. It was 4 2, 6 3. You know, eight four, but all of a sudden St. Henry put what four up, four together in yep. a row there. You know, good good rallying for them, but uh, you know OG needs to stop right here. Started to set out on a three zero run. They're on a four zero run now. Hence the OG timeout. And here's the serve again by Teeman. Set, just took, pushed over, and then Palmer from the back row. Oh, good save by Tiemann. Up in the air it goes, tipped over and blocked with the net. Madison McKee had to block, but she was called in the net. So the point will go to St. Henry. Great rally right there. Was. You know, volley back and forth by uh, St. Henry to keep that ball alive. Five consecutive points here on the service by Tiemann. Lauren will serve again. The sophomore, this one comes up short in the net, breaking that run of five points. She had served four of them. And now to serve will be the libero, Carly Chris for Ottawa Glandorf, trailing by six, opening set. And bangs it to Balmer. Kill attempt by Wendell. This will be Wendell again. And White out of the middle. No, that was not White. Excuse me. That was Caitlin Kimmett out of the middle. Puts it away. I'll tell you what, Mark. Those three up front there, with when Kimmett's there or Fry, and you throw in uh, Ella White up there, that's a big front line up there that really can hammer it down. It really is. Service again. Kreas, Junior Libero. And her serve is short. 12-6. St. Henry. I've really been impressed with the play of number zero out there for St. Henry, Raya Boucher. I mean, yep. She's just all over the place and, and, you know, getting her hands on everything. Here's Brianna Mangin in to serve. That's White. And that kill will go to Morgan Bomber. OG has scored only two points when they have served, and we're roughly halfway through this first set. Service again by Mangin. Four aces for her on the season. She lines one in. And that kill goes to Ella White. The setter for Ottawa Glandorf is Addison Bellman. She had 121 assists in their opening five uh, matches that they have played. Now they have played 16 sets already, but she is by far and away their leading person with assists with 121. 
Allman tips it to an open area. Busher plays that one. Here's the set. And tipped to the open area again, this time by Busher. White gets it blocked by Busher. Oh, nice recovery. And that one hit the net. Trying to tip it over was Marley Buttlemeyer, the junior. And she rolled it into the antenna. And the point goes against her team. And now our pattern again. 14-7, so yep. they doubled them up again. And St. Henry serve. That one will be by Busher. And down the line it goes. Is it in? It is point. It was touched by St. Henry. I'm looking for the line judge to make a call. And our down official had that one. Christy Copanis. To serve will be the center we talked about a moment ago, Addison Bellman, the junior. From behind the 10-foot line, a kill attempt by Ellen Fullercamp. She tips it to the back row this time. And then pounds oh, it look down. Out. Yep, look out, get out of the way when Sienna Fry is in the front row. You see that big left hand going up in the air, you better get out of the way. And we're looking for a ball. We'll put a new one into play. You know what will happen? They'll find that ball and roll it right back out in the middle of the court. Yep, they will. <laughs> Unless you deflated it on that yeah, last one. <laughs> here's Addison Bellman to serve. Set. Off the tape on the hit by Bomber. Libero sets. That one's rolled across by... Buttlemeyer, and then the kill attempt oh, to the okay. back row. Ellie Fullenkamp, the 6'1 senior. 28 kills coming into this uh, match here. Three digs and five blocks for that young lady. Comes Addie Holman to serve, the freshman. Free balled over, but out of bounds. Missed hit by Fry. 16-9. Scoreboard by Ultimate Outdoor of the season. Appreciate their support. Service again by Holman. Set. Fry. That's blocked. Oh, nice recovery. And then Bomber gets it over there, but Chris made a great play. Rolled over. Another set. And... This is turning out to be the best rally of the set, and then oh. Fry missed the sideline. Lauren Tiemann, we're going to time out. We're going to take a break also. It's 17 to 9 in favor of St. Henry. Second timeout. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our presenting sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak, St. Mary's, and Delphus. Proud to be sponsor Sets and Spikes at sundown. Tune in Sunday night at 9 p.m. as we air our outdoor rebroadcast of Spencer and Shawnee Outdoor Volleyball. Fry hits. And it's going to fall on the floor. It's one of those everybody looked at it and yep. nobody made the play. The type of thing that happens sometimes early in the season, but get those communication situations figured out later. Mm -hmm. No, I've seen it happen in baseball too. Uh, I mean, you know, everybody looks at it and nobody wants it. Ball's hit to Busher. She sets, pushed over by Fullenkamp. Fry, played in the back row by Manjin. And then Bomber goes off a hit. Fry again. And that's blocked, but blocked out of bounds. So the point goes to the Titans. 17-11 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. I, I tell you what, Mark, we've seen really good volleyball as far as, you know, the volleys back and forth and keeping the ball alive like Bush that. <laughs> yeah, Bush had to die for that one to keep it in play. It's free balled over. Bellman sets, and Fry pounded that one down and looking for a call. She missed the sideline. So point goes to St. Henry. 
That was a tough one, too, because she had that sideline. There wasn't anybody over there. 18-11, Titans in the, the opening set. And this will be, if she gets into our viewing area. <laughs> Serving from yeah. Gilboa. Morgan Bomber, yeah. <laughs> Morgan Bomber gets an ace. To make it 19-11. Her third ace of the year. She had one when they played the original match back 10 days ago. Here's Morgan again. Just cleared the net. Fry, that's blocked. Wendell blocked that one. From the other side, that one was blocked back to a point by Follenkamp. Net play going the way of St. Henry right now. Yeah, 20 to 11. They're doing it at the net. They're also doing it on their serve, where they're really out serving uh, Otto Glendorf. 20-11. Redskins. And the overpass is shoved back down. Good two-handed play by Ellie Follenkamp. She waited until the ball was in the, in the net, in the plane of the net before she played it. Puts her team up now. 21-11. Ten-point lead. This will be four consecutive points. And oh, just missed. Oh, she did. I waited a long time to see where that one was going to come down at. She did just miss the side. Kind of had some spin on it. Yeah, it did. A curveball. You can stream the WSN channel anytime, anywhere for eight bucks per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign it at app.wsn.tv. Oh, gee, needs to like, put some points together in a row. Here's Greta Liebrecht to serve. Set. Tipped up in the front row by McKee. Then there's Fry. Short set put away by Ellie Fullencamp. 22-12 opening set. Oh, I, I made a mistake. Somebody get in the net, Darb, because I was right the score have. down. It's 21-13. St. Henry ahead. Here's the pass up to Tiemann. And she sets and hitting it through the blockers is Ellie Follenkamp. That time the point went to St. Henry. 22-13. Ellie Follenkamp, second team all-conference player in the MAC a year ago. Here's Busher to serve, the libero. And overpass, putting that one away at the net was Mar Marley Buttlemeyer. Excuse me, not Marley Buttlemeyer, that was Carly Busher. And Carly just came in. It's a 10 point lead. It is 23 now, 13. Opening set. All right, Busher will serve again. Busher makes a great diving play, but they're not able to keep it alive on the kill by Ellie, Ellen, Ella White. 23 14. Busher getting a lot of activity there in that middle. That's why she was a first team all conference player a year ago. Fry to serve. Set by Tima. Slide play. It's hit out of bounds. Was it touched? Carly Busher hit it long. It's called out. I wasn't sure whether somebody got a finger on that at the net or not. Yeah, it's amazing nobody did because it went over so many people. Here's Fry to serve again. Team in sets, tip. Good play in the net by Bellman. Keep it alive, but then they can't score out of it. And we are at set point here for St. Henry. And with that, Lauren Teeman will drop back to serve. And Miley Kramer in for St. Henry. To Carfus. Fry hits it, and what? The illegal back row attack is the call, and that will give the opening set to the St. Henry Redskins. 25-15, second set coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Ottawa Glendorf. Opening set went to St. Henry 25-15. Our presenting sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Wapak, St. Mary's, and in Delphus. They're going to sponsor sets and spikes at sundown. That will be air on 
WSN Sunday night at 9 p.m. A regional broadcast of Spencerville and Shawnee, an outdoor volleyball game. Saw the, the floor being, or the court, whatever you want to call it, being brought into Shawnee today so they can get it set up. That will be played Saturday night and it will air Sunday night at 9 o'clock on WOSN. Well, that will be interesting, see. Yeah, how about that? So, Dar, in the opening sets, a 10 point win, right? St. Henry scored 16 points on serve. OG scored six points on serve, and therein is the difference in that opening set. And it certainly is, and, and some great um, play at the net as well for St. Henry, but a lot of times, too, it was just keeping the ball alive. I, You know, being able to get a hand on it, you know, keeping it out there so you, somebody could get to it, you know, just great job overall for uh, St. Henry. If OG can get a few more of those uh, spikes up front there and hammer a couple of those down, Maybe they can turn this around and get their mind back into the game. Have you ever heard of a misnamed podcast? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got a WSN podcast now. You can join every week. Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, Nate Garlock, as they break down local football matchups, discuss Ohio State football, and talk about sports throughout Ohio on WSN's newest podcast entitled The Three Wise Men. Oh. Uh, oh man! I'm, I'm going to guess. Who did that one? Yeah, who made that <laughs> one up? I'm, I'm going to guess. Well, we got a little bit of debate about where people are to be lined up before the opening serve. Here, I think we got things set. I think it's the three wise guys. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that was it. All right, second set about to begin with Ryan Busher to serve for St. Henry. Her left-handed serve goes to the back row. Good save at the net, but not quite able to keep it in play was Bellman. And the first point will go to St. Henry. Tell you what, Mark, she hits it so hard. That ball is curving all over the place when he ends. It's a lot of spin on the ball. You can see a dive right there. Short set and pushed out of bounds on the effort by Caitlin Kimmett. And as we had in the opening set, St. Henry's taking a quick lead, this time 2-0. And they're doing it again, serving the ball, and you know, just like they did in the first one. Float, serve, set. That's pushed to the back row. That will be a point this time for Kimmett. Ottawa Glendorf has uh, lost to St. Henry and Coldwater at the Coldwater Spike Off, and they beat Versailles 2-1. This week they lost to Lipsick, and then Kenton defeated Kenton in the first WL match last Thursday night, 3-1. So they are two and three on the season. 1-0 and oh in conference play. Saved that time by Miley Kramer. And that ball's pounded to Busher. And it got up in the rafter rafters. Nothing you can do about no. that. Yeah, OG, you know, in those 16 sets, they won seven. They've lost nine. But on the flip side for St. Henry, they've gone nine sets. They've won seven and lost only two. Give you their scores here in just a moment. That ball was attempted to get over by Addie Holman. Didn't quite work. And for the first time today, Ottawa Glandorf has a lead. St. Henry uh, played in that same tournament at Coldwater. Defeated Miami East 2-0. Lost to Fort Laramie 2-0. And then defeated OG 2-0. And then last week, they defeated Franklin Monroe 3-0. And that puts them at 3-1 on the season. That serve goes into the net. And we are tied at 3. And in the serve will be Addie Holman. The score tied. That is a freshman. Four aces coming into the day. She also has 35 assists coming into the day, too. Her serve is short. And OG picks up the point. Big match this week if you are a St. Henry Redskin. They begin MAC play Thursday night with New Bremen at New Bremen. Here at Seawright Day, Bowen will there call that. It will air Friday night at 7 o'clock on WOSN. Here's the set, pounded by Balmer. Fry hits out of her corner, and she's going to get a point. OG's up two, five, three. Uh, yeah, they need Sienna Fry to really get going. The junior, you know, coming in this one's played all 16 sets or 17 sets now. You know, with two assists, 62 kills, and 28 digs coming in, and 11 blocks. So impressive stats clear across the board for Sienna Fry. Ball's just tipped over by Follencamp. Here's the set. 
And hit, is it in? It was on the kill by Marley Buttlemeyer. Let's see if that ball was going to fall in or not, 6-3. Big match for Ottawa Glendorf this week, too, on Thursday night. They have a, begin, uh, have a second WBL match with Wapak. Busher, team in sets, and then put away in the front row by Falling Camp. Makes it 6-4, OG. And then on Saturday, OG plays Marion Local. Garrett Seawright, Dave Bowen will be there for that one. And that will air on WSN Sunday night at 7 p.m., right before the outdoor broadcast between Spencerville and Shawnee. And that will be an ace. Chalk that one up on the ace by Morgan Bomber, her second today, fourth of the season, so she's doubled her total on the season here tonight. Morgan to serve again, second team all-conference player as a junior last year. Tipped at the net. That point will go to, to uh, OG. OG doing a much better job up front, just keeping the ball alive and being able to find those open spots. Caitlin Kimmett to serve. Caitlin almost got an ace. Good play by Busher. Shows you why she was a first team all conference MAC player a year ago. The pass from the center was a little long. Molly Wendell was right there to clean it up. And it's 7 6 now in favor of the Titans. Back to serve will be Olivia Gast. Olivia with three aces. Junior for Coach Christian Rosenbeck. To the libero, Carfus. Fry. Fry put that one into the net, so we're tied at seven. Last time it was tied, it was two to two, and OG went on a bit of a run, scoring four out of five points. But uh, St. Henry's gotten himself back into it. We're tied at seven. OG needs to get the serve back, though. Gassed again to serve. Back set fly. There it is. Really nice set that time by Bellman. Back set scored a point. Bellman just keeps adding to that assist total. <laughs> and into the front row will be Madison McKee, the sophomore. Good serve by Fry. Team in sets. And that was put down. Big hit by wow. Carly Busher. The tied at eight. Good spot, too. That was just about a, a foot inside. But all the OG players had already rotated over to the other side, so it was a real open spot right there. Team in serve. Free balled over. See what St. Henry does with it. Team in sets. And a hit out of the middle. The point will go to Miley Kramer. And for the first time since it was two to nothing, or two to one really, St. Henry's taking the lead now at 9-8. Again, Mark, they're doing it by way of the serve, just keeping the ball on their side of the court. Teeman will set again, and that point will go to Wendell. The 5'10 junior Molly Wendell puts her team up two. And Molly Wendell with 28 kills coming into this, this match. Set, hit. Pounded down, big hit that time by Madison McKee. And a perfect set for her, too. Yes, it was. 10-9. Madison Bellman, the junior setter. This will be Gracie Lammers, a sophomore to serve. The team's up one. Or down one, excuse me. Looked at the scoreboard backwards. And now what? Oh, they got awfully quiet, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay, we're ready. And that serve is short. So 
So it's 11-9 St. Henry. Court cutters can access WSN for free with an antenna or 44.2 on our app for eight dollars a month. Sign up at app.wsn.tv. St. Henry to serve. Done so by Manzin. Big play at the net. And what happened? Got an illegal back yep. row attack again. It's a couple of those we've had now. 12-9. Manzin to serve again. Good serve. And that one falls for a point. 13-9. St. Henry doing a nice job of catching OG out of position, finding those little bit of holes in between everybody. Four point lead. Up in the rafters it goes, two points. off the basket, and there's a good play by Chris. And that one, you cannot hit the ceiling and have the ball go over and be in play. So that's point for St. Henry, and we will get an Ottawa Glandorf timeout. Redskins by five, you're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Scoreboard says St. Henry 14, Ottawa Glendorf 9. It's the first time out in set two. Called by Coach Matty White to the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Yeah, the tide started to turn again to St. Henry's favor, and the Ottawa Glendorf's got to stop it somehow. And the long was a touch. It was not. Serve sales long. The timeout breaks the momentum a little bit, makes it 14-10. Now you've got to capitalize. You've got to get a, two or three points here in a row. Carly Kras will serve. Team and will set. Bomber hits. And I guess the ball fell in. I was looking for a call from the line judge, but the Official made the call, makes it 15-10. In favor of St. Henry. Five-point lead for the Redskins. Good serve. Popped up in the air and four hits. Now what? We're going to call a replay. And I'm a little befuddled, Dar. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Something happened in the middle of that, and we called it a, a replay. Well, back then they put a point on the board, so I. Oh, okay. Now I'm confused. Yeah, totally confused. That oh, ball was good. blocked. Wow. Going up high was Morgan Bomber to block it, and they took the point off the board, and now put it back on. So it was yeah. a replay. Morgan Bomber just, just doing a great job up front. Ball's hit to Busher. And again, oh, what a pancake play. Really good effort by Teeman, but her teammate couldn't control it afterwards. Great effort by the setter, Lauren Teeman. That ball rattling around in the rafters a bit. Got a Liebrecht to serve. Greta has an ace on the season for the junior. Busher. Teeman goes and gets that one, and Bomber hits that one, but she hits it to Kreis. And then put away at the net on the overpass by Ellie Fullenkamp. Yeah, Ellie Fullenkamp just doing a great job up front there. And the, I said 28 kills coming into this, this match today, and you can see why. She gets up her high across that net. Addie Holman's turn to serve for St. Henry. Saved with net. Good play, but hit, hit, hit it too far. Now, Tiemann's in the front row, so she can go up and make a spike for a libero-type play, or not a libero, a center-type play, which she did right there and did so legally. 18-11. And hit it right where she needed to, too. Tipped over, bounced back. Bomber saves it. Teeman will set this one to Bomber. 
But for five <laughs> six, does she get up in the air? My goodness. Yes, she does. And she's getting great sets too by yep. everybody. You know, just they they obviously know her play and where she's going to be at over that in that one side. And they set it just right for it. She gets that one or two running start before she hammers it. Mentioned Lauren Tiemann's kill a moment ago. She has eight on the year coming into today from her center position. Quick set. Busher keeps it alive. Tiemann's able to set it, and Bomber rolls it across. Tell you what, Dart, you can't do a lot better than that. No, you cannot. After a really good hit that, that Busher was able to get to. Busher's just something to watch, isn't she? Yes, she is. I mean, she is everywhere out there. First team all-conference in the MAC a year ago as a libero back for her senior year. She had 33 digs before tonight and has added that total immensely. Here's the set again. Bomber hits it into the blockers this time. McKee and Kimmett were both there. And that ends a run, makes it 20 to 12, St. Henry, on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. By that time, OG was able to make an adjustment and get over there with two blockers because she was in the same spot she's been hammering them all day long. Addison Bellman's turn to serve. And she left it short. And OG's really been struggling today for their serves. 21-12. They've been side out, have the Titans six times today. They've only scored on serve twice out of their eight serves. And that was touched in the back row. That's going to be an ace. And Liebrich got a hand on it. And Morgan Bomber will get her third ace of today. She only had two coming in here in the yeah. first first four matches. She's got three today and makes it 22 12. Well it's been a pattern for St. Henry because everybody seems to be getting their aces today. That one she left short. 22 13 tried to float serve and just didn't quite get it over the net as Caitlin Kennett will serve. Taylor's got seven aces on the season. The team could use one about now. Teeman back set and oh, put away by Ellie Follenkamp. Little slide play and put that one away. It's an 11-point lead. St. Henry two points away from closing out the second set. Olivia Gast will be in to serve. And the way this started out, it looks like OG was going to make it really uh, competitive on the second set. But once St. Henry got going, they were slowing it down. Olivia Gast chalks up an ace, and we are at set point. It's 24-12 St. Henry. 24-13 St. Henry, my mistake. Here's Olivia Gast, the junior. Back set. Fry. Now what? We got a St. Henry Redskin in the net. It looks like they got Molly Wendell. So it's 24-14, and we'll go to another set point with OG serving this time, and that would be in the hands of Sienna Fry. Sienna Fry with five aces coming into this. We can set mark. They can sure use one right now. Teeman will set. Wendell. That will be four contacts. Well, she did not clear the tape with that hit, so it's 24-15. And Fry will serve again. Teeman sets. Slide play again. That hit was by Carly Busher. The ball was blocked out of bounds and will be a St. Henry point. So just like in set number one, the Redskins take set number two at 25-15. Back with set three in a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Scoreboard in the first two sets was identical. St. Henry 25, Ottawa Glandor 15. Per to what we mentioned in that set, Dar, say, uh, Ottawa Glandor had 10 different service opportunities and only scored on three of their 10 service opportunities. And again, St. Henry served well. 
Yeah, they certainly did. And, and OG came out in that second set much better off than they did in the first set. They looked like they were going to put something together, but then St. Henry started racking up points, and a lot of that came on their serves and their play at the net. And, you know, OG just hasn't been able, a little bit out of sync, it seems like, because St. Henry's been able to find a lot of open spots to put the ball down. But they're getting great play in the middle for St. Henry, too, and keeping that ball alive. Here's OG to serve to open up set three. Teamman will set in the middle. Ball's hit to Bellman. The libero will come and set. And we have a St. Henry Redskin in that. Nice set by Carly Kreis. Point will go because the ball is in, or the play was into the net. But OG scores first. Bellman to serve again. Teeman runs it down. Camp hits. Bellman sets. That hit was by Marty Buttlemeyer. Over it goes from Balmer. Fry kind of tips that one over. Balmer again. Good rally going here to oh, start this set. Is. Ball is pushed to the back. Really nice play by Marley Buttlemeyer to find an open spot, push it where only a St. Henry hand could get onto it. Yes, got the two-point lead. And she pushed it into the back, back side over there and away from everybody that was heavy hitters up front that was keeping that one going. Bellman serves. Manson played that one. Palmer pushes it to the back row, and she will get a point out of it. Good effort from Ottawa Glandorf, but couldn't quite get there to save it. And in the serve will be Addie Holman as Miley Kramer takes a seat. They play front row, back row with each other. Fry hits off the hand, up in the rafters it goes. Busher pushes it over, free ball. What does OG do with this one? Hit, and it went. Long on the hit by Molly Buttlemeyer. I just saw a really happy dad come in. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Rosenbeck, the boys' coach. Oh, okay. Basketball at uh, Santa. Of course, his wife is the head coach here. Came in with a nice looking young lady who's about, what, three years old, maybe? Yeah. 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 That ball's blocked. Give that point to Caitlin Kimmett. Caitlin Kimmett with eight blocks coming into this match. 3 2 OG. A little three-year-old's got her St. Henry dress on. Yes, she does. And her pink shoes. Good for you. Got a dress, dress to kill there. Busher. Teeman goes and gets it. Palmer pushes it over. Free ball. And Fry hits it off a pair of blockers. It's 4-2 Titans. We mentioned earlier, St. Henry New Bremen Volleyball is on Friday night. Friday night at 10 o'clock on WTLW is Shawnee Elida Football, and on WOSN is Tulsa St. John's LCC Football. Those will both air on Friday night at 10 p.m. Tipped over. Busher collides with Holman. They're both back up and ready to play. Bellman sets off a blocker. Manjin got to it. And Busher saves it, but another free ball opportunity for OG. And That's the ball long. went long. It's just so difficult to hit the floor against them. It is. St. Henry they're just everywhere. covers so well. Trying to find wood is difficult. I mean, they're diving all over the place and going for everything they can. I tell you what, it's got to be difficult to play off the, you know, the raptor really when it comes down. Yep. Figure out where it's going to go. And that will be an ace. Chalked it up for Morgan Bomber, her fourth of the evening. And we're tied at four. She has had a wonderful match today. Serving, front row play. Got a lot of digs today, too. Yeah, there's a lot of individual play out there that's really been outstanding. Bomber serve. And it is 5-4. A lot of MAC coaches call that dar risk reward. <laughs> okay, we might hit a few into that. We might hit a few long, but we're going to serve well and put you in a bad spot, either with an ace or make the ball difficult for you to return and do anything with. And 
That time she just left it short. 5-4 now as Greta Liebrick serves. Good pass. Wendell tips it to the back row. Fry hits it. But Ballmer got that to play, but it got up into the ceiling. 6-4. This is a little bit low compared to some gyms. Yeah, it is. Uh, other it gyms is. have a little bit more spaces. Of course, if you're at Temple Christian, the, it's like the ceiling's <laughs> about eight foot off the floor, it seems like. But um, this is like a lot of high school gyms, so it's not unusual, but some places have a little bit more space than this one. What do we got? Looks like we've got will serve again after she gets directions from Coach White. Wendell hits it into a blocker. And OG scores again. It's 7-4. I think that one right there is one of the hardest ones. When it hits the rafters like that, and it comes down twice as fast yeah. as it went up. Shoots back down. That is correct. 7-4. Liebrecht to serve. Back set. And Follenkamp will score. They've used that slide play several times this evening. It's 7-5. What do we got? Maybe not. Maybe we got somebody in the net. Coach Rosenbeck is asking for an explanation. So it is 8-4. OG doubling them up now. And Liebrick serves again. Float serve this time. Fuller can hit it out. So it's 9-4. Best run of the evening for Ottawa Glendorf. And that will force a timeout by St. Henry. It's 9-4 Titans. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard sponsor today, Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. 9-4 on our scoreboard. Favor the Titans. Titans led in the second set, six to three. So this is the biggest lead of the match for that team. And coming out of the timeout, a little uh, momentum killer, a rally killer with that timeout. So it's nine five now. St. Henry, uh, OG, and St. Henry will serve. St. Henry serves. If you watch them, they're just all of them serves, just barely clearing off the net most of the time. Hit the bomber, backcourt, Wendell. Wendell's block, good block at the net by Madison McKee, makes it 10-5. Titans, we talked about the Friday night telecast. Football game at 9 a.m. on Saturday morning is Kenton OG. 11.30 a.m. on WTLW, be Lima Senior Finley and Salina St. Mary's at 9 p.m. Saturday night. That kill at the net, that one also goes to McKee. 11-5. Titans on the roll in this set. Yeah, Madison McKee, just, just a sophomore. Titans have scored seven out of the last eight points in this match. Take an 11-5 lead on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Fry serves. And right back at him this time, a kill out of the middle by Carly Busher. Will make it 11-6. Yeah, Carly Busher, a big a junior middle hitter for him. She really hammers it down when she gets a chance. Bellman saves it, has to push it over. Oh, blocked it to that. That's tipped to an open area, but unable to cross the net with his Carly Busher. She had the right idea, darn yeah, lot of real did. estate over there, but she just couldn't get over the net. Makes it 12-6. OG with Carly Press to serve. Junior Libero. 60 digs coming into tonight in their opening five matches. That time OG ran the slide and Caitlin Kimmett scores off a blocker. 13-6. Caitlin Kimmett's had a, a good match so far. You know, just when the opportunities come, she's been able to do it. Teeman sets, pushed to the back row by Busher, and we have an OG Titan in the net. It looks like Caitlin Kimmett's number came up. 
So it's 13-7 now, Titans ahead. And in to serve will be Brianna Manjin. Serve from Brianna. Cross court pass. That ball was put away by Ella White. And doubled it up again at 14-7. But the thing you see, Mark, is you see the confidence level for OG starting to build and build and build because, you know, after those first two sets, second set, they came out pretty fast, and then they kind of, St. Henry took control, but this one here, OG's taking control of this one for most of the third set. That ball was put away by Busher Carley at that point, 14-8. Last year, St. Henry tied for the championship in the MAC. They did so with New Bremen. And Coldwater also was in that three-way tie as it's 14-9. And those three teams, along with maybe Marion Local and who knows what else, they're going to be right there again this year. Oh, yeah. Great volleyball programs, all of them. Shawnee won the Western Buckeye League last year. They were 9-0. St. Mary's and OG were both 7-2 to tie for second. Put away at the net. Big hit by Ellie Follenkamp. I've just been impressed with the sets that these guys, you know, St. Henry's had because they, their heavy hitters are getting perfect sets for them. And Lauren Tiemann, the primary setter for St. Henry, is only a sophomore. Dumped over. Tiemann got to that one, pushed to the back row, and a point. How about that for Morgan like Balmer? Well, when it's going your way, it's going your way, and right now it's going St. Henry's That's way. That's right, and with that four consecutive points, Time for OG to take a timeout. We'll take a timeout also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. These famous recipe chicken will be sponsoring sets and spikes at sundown. This is Saturday night aware on WOSN Sunday night at 9 p.m. Spencer and Shawnee playing outdoor volleyball. Special night. Thanks, Lee's Famous Rescue Chicken for sponsoring that. Wapak, St. Mary's, and in Delphus. 14-11. In favor of OG, but St. Henry making a run. Free ball. Teeman will set. And the point will go in the hit by Bomber. Again, oh, another one of those sets was just perfect, just high enough up for Bomber just to get up there and hammer down it. We talked about it earlier, how high she gets up there in the first place, but no, no taller than she is. Four points have been scored on service by Olivia Gast, and she just racked up her second ace of the evening to make it 14-13. Be the seventh ace of the night for a St. Henry Redskin. Vlad Busher has one, Gast has two, and Morgan Bomber has four this evening. Here's Gas trying to serve and make it even. Free ball. St. Henry, quick set and the hit put away by Ellie Fullenkamp and they come all the way back to tie it at 14. And OG sees it coming. They know it's going to come from that left side of St. Henry's offense over there. And, it, and there's nothing they've been able to do to stop it so that, far. That one rolled across the tape. And that one is short, so OG breaks the string on the missed serve and goes back to take a 14 to a 15 to 14 lead. As Gas serves six points right there. Here's OG to serve. Bellman serves that one. Team and sets. Blocked at the net by Kimmett. Balmer rolls it across. Good diving play. And we're unable to save it. Ball, uh, Bellman came running up and made a play on the ball, but couldn't keep it high enough for a teammate to use, so we're tied at 15. 
Coleman in to serve. And he's a freshman. Fry hits off a couple of blockers. Set. Bomber goes off a couple blockers. And oh we get, my. not only are we going to get a point, but we also had a Titan in the net as they got Sienna Fry in the net. And St. Henry, the last time they led was 2-1. to one. And now they're up 16-15. And they're killing their own rallies because yeah. on those those serves they're just short and hitting in the net. Actually, they had never led in this set. It was tied at two at one point. And now we're after going up 16-15 at 16 all. Ballmer again through two blockers, plays oh. her own. She could get another opportunity. Bellman keeps it alive. And then free ball. Busher, Tiemann, and Long. That time, Morgan Bomber couldn't get on top of the ball, and it ends up being a 16-17 lead for the Titans. Yeah, the Titans need to string it together now. Off the net, played by Busher. Follenkamp. Ellie Fullenkamp, the 6'1 senior, ties it at 17. And there's nothing you can do yeah. about that. That's and, and yet yet another wonderful set by Lauren Tiemann. Oh, she's just outstanding. She and Bellman have had really good nights here. Addison Bellman, the junior setter. There's her set. And a really smart play that time by Sienna Fry. Just found the open area. 18-17, but again, off an Addison Bellman set. Ella White will check in, and at the same time, Greta Liebrecht will check in. She had a good service run back to make it. Uh, it was uh, Her team was ahead 5-4. She scored four consecutive points. Follenkamp gets another kill off a set from team, and we're tied at 18. That one a little bit different for St. Henry because it came from right to left instead of the other way around. Good serve. And we got a point because it's called double contact. Oh. St. Henry will go up 1918. Good serve. Yes, it was. <laughs> Good set out of all that traffic in the ceiling by Carly Busher. Here's Fry, and she hits into two blockers, and they blocked it out of bounds. Wendell was there, and so was Carly Busher, but was blocked out of bounds on the kill attempt by Sienna Fry, who now gets to serve. Hey, you wonder what kind of spin comes off of it when Sienna Fry hits it with that left hand. This time, Ryan Busher sets. Molly Wendell shot one across the net. Busher will set that one, too. Good diving play by Carlos. Or, excuse me, Krafus. And then the hit went long, and it is 2019. Carly Krafus somehow came out with a mispronunciation of her name. <laughs> Well, I, I tell you, you know, to watch them out there and they're all diving for the balls, just getting a hand on it, keeping it off the floor, is just remarkable. Bayless plays that one. It got up in the ceiling, too. Pushed across. Good play by White. That's blocked. This will be White again. And it is 19 for Ottawa Glandorf and 21 for St. Henry. They have not led by two points in set three until right now. 21-19. Block, and then back into the ceiling, and nobody could play it. 
Again, one of those things when yeah. it comes in that ceiling, you know, you don't know where it's going to end up coming down. 22-19, and we are going to get another OG timeout as they try to stem the tide a little bit. 22-19, we're going to take a break, too. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Ottawa Glendorf, third set, 22-19 in favor of the San Henry Redskins. Our scoreboard's been brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. OG with their second and final timeout of this set as they trail by three. Saying Henry's like nothing better than just put it away right now. White tried to get a kill, tried to go down the line and got it into the net instead. So it's a four point lead for, o for St. Henry and two points away from match. Here's the serve again. Teeman serves it. Knuckleball. Kreis. Fry. And she left it short. She was way off the net trying to make that play. And we are at set point match point for the St. Henry Redskins. They've done that too many times tonight. It's that uh, whole concept of, yeah, we're going to hit it in that <laughs> once in a while. We're going to score points or put you in a bad spot with our serves. And so far this evening, it's worked pretty well yep. for them. It's a four-point lead now for St. Henry as Carly Kreis will serve. Teeman tracks it down. And from behind a 10-foot line is Bomber. Good driving play by Kralis. Wendell, Molly gets the block, but it falls for a point. And St. Henry will take set three of this one, 25-20. St. Henry will win in three sets. First set was 25-15, St. Henry. Second set the same, 25-15. The third set goes to St. Henry, 25-20. And, Dar, we talked about a little bit at the break. OG, pretty good volleyball team. Sam, we're just better tonight. Oh, absolutely. And like we said, OG's going to win a lot of games this year. You know, but St. Henry just came out. I mean, serving was a big thing for them tonight. And they just outdid OG on the serving. But their play and sets at the net, too. I mean, you saw some of their big hitters, you know, particularly coming from that left side, just slamming it down on the, over there. But you're right, OG's got got some talent out there. They got some, some girls out there that are really going to you know, win some games for them. St. Henry will go to four and one on the season. OG will drop to two and four. I want to thank our sponsors. That would be Ultimate Outdoor today and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Wapak, St. Mary's, and in Delphus. Saw the athletic director here, Tyson McLaughlin, when we came in. He was busy running around like ADs do <laughs> on, a, on a typical game night. So I appreciate Tyson, his effort today. Megan Sherrick did all of our camera and audio work. She will take this back to the station and edit it all together for your viewing pleasure. We'll thank Darn Evergall for his help this evening. St. Henry in three sets over Ottawa Glendorf. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.